Well, good morning, everyone. So glad to be with you on this Thursday morning as we start our day off well with scripture reading and prayer. This morning we pick up, um, back up rather, with Psalm 18, a psalm of David, the choir master, the, the choir director, uh, who sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies, even the hand of Saul. David said, and now we begin the psalm, that was inscription, the introduction to the psalm. We talked about that yesterday morning. So Psalm 18, 1 and 2. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I want to read the psalm again. And as I do, I want you to notice how personal the psalm is. Make, make it personal. It is. But make, think, think about you. Put yourself within the context of this psalm. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't it take on another layer of beauty as we, sorry about that, as we think about this psalm, making it personal. Now the Word of God is, of course, contextual for their original audience, but it's so applicable. If it weren't applicable to our everyday life, why do we look at it? You know, why do we study it? It's so applicable. So I just want you to, to think about that as you read God's Word, especially books like the Psalms, and really put yourself in it, within it, because truly we were on God's mind from the very beginning of creation. I mean, he knows each one of us in a very personal way. Um, so we are definitely on the pages of God's Word and on His heart. Well. I'm going to read the psalm a third time, and, and, and this time I want to add a little bit more detail, a little bit more insight from my study and, and research. Um, I love you, Lord, Jehovah, Adonai, all self-existent, self-sufficient. My strength, the cause for my strength, all the strength that I have comes from you. The Lord is my cure, my repairer, and my fortifier. The Lord is my restrainer and conqueror. The Lord Jehovah Adonai, all self-existent, is my rock, my fortress, strong castle, my defense, my deliverer, the one who enables my escape. My God Almighty is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield. The Lord's protection over me is an impenetrable uh, is an impenetrable shield, much like the hide of a Louisiana alligator. The Lord is the true horn of my salvation, my warning, my protective blast from the trumpet, my stronghold. Good luck in, dr in bringing me down. Isn't that a great way to end that? Good luck in bringing me down. Now, you, you can fill in the blank. So this morning I want you to think about that. Good luck, blank. And bringing me down. What might you put in that blank? Well, you could put good luck cancer, good luck depression, good luck addiction, good luck anxiety, good, good luck fear in bringing me down. It's not going to happen because the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my rock. He is my fortress. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. Well, I'll leave you with that. Let's have prayer together. And we'll get on with our day. Father, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. We thank you for this yet another Thursday to live and move through with you. Father, I pray that today you take us by the hand and you truly lead us. Lead us in the paths that you'd have us to go. Lead us into the works you would have us to do. Equip us. Father, you have equipped us with the Holy Spirit. We thank you for equipping us. We just pray, Lord, that we step into that equipping, into that spiritual power that we have. And we begin to, to, to share you with others. Continue to do that through us, Father. We truly thank you that we, that we are your servants, that we are your hands and feet. Thank you for calling us. We just pray today, Father, we move an encouragement to someone. Thank you for this word we've had together this morning. It is an encouragement to us. You are our fortress, our stronghold, a mighty and high tower. 
You are all sufficient. You meet every need we have. We may not see it, understand it, but you do. Help us to see it. Give us the eyes and the senses that we need to see you working. We thank you for your mercy, your grace. We thank you that we don't have to work out our salvation. We pray and thank you that, that we are saved through faith by grace, grace by faith. We thank you for that, not of our works. But Lord, we pray that you use us, that you show others yourself through our works. Thank you in advance for using us today. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We exalt you. We magnify you. It's in Christ's name we pray together and we agree together. Amen. Well, church, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day.